This year, we learned a lot. We learned that a city can still think and learn. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. It's great to be back here with you at CES. I had the honor of delivering the keynote event back in 2019. My primary message then was the sheer technology power of 5G. How different it would be than previous mobile technologies. How much faster it would be than 4G. How much more data it can handle. How it would power the new fourth industrial revolution. But much has happened since then. Our world has changed and it keeps changing. There's a reason why we can't be together this year for CES. We have experienced a year of many crises, a pandemic, an economic crisis, and a social and racial injustice. It's been a year of unrest. In 2020, one thing became very obvious very quickly as COVID-19 began to spread around the world. We leapfrogged five to seven years in the digital revolution. This mass shift sped up the timeline for work from home, distant learning, and telemedicine. We knew it was coming, but it was closer than we realized. Now, instead of being our future, it's our present. The future of productivity is now the current reality of work. The future of learning is now the current reality of school. The future of mobile payment is now the current reality of banking. And the future of streaming is now the current reality of entertainment. And this shift is happening right as the most powerful, world-changing connectivity technology ever developed is becoming available in more and more places. That technology is 5G. And it's so much more than just another technology innovation. It's an innovation platform that makes other innovations possible. It makes things better. The result is going to be a lot of remember when moments. These moments when you know you're seeing change right before your eyes. Such moments are super exciting for me. And with 5G, we're going to have a lot of them. At Verizon, we're leading the industry to the 5G future as we deploy 5G Ultra Wideband, which delivering speeds and throughput that are simply unmatched. Each innovation opens the door to another innovation. Each remember when moment generates possibilities no one thought of before. Each new answer creates questions that are even more exciting. For example, how can augmented reality transform the way you enjoy sports? The way you visit museums? The way you interact with the world around you? And how can the sheer speed of 5G ultra-wideband continue to reveal new possibilities, transforming everything from the way you play video games to the way you receive deliveries? How can something called mobile edge compute allow businesses to get things done more quickly and easily? To understand how 5G Ultra Wideband makes all of this and much more possible, let's start by looking at what makes it so different from anything that came before. In 2019, I introduced what I call the currencies of 5G. These are the essential qualities of our 5G ultra wideband network. In 2021, I'm here to tell you the currencies are now current. First, 5G ultra wideband has an unparalleled upload and download speeds, enabling peak throughputs that are at least 10 times faster than 4G and more than 4 gigabits under ideal conditions. The fastest in the world. Second, it provides enormous capacity and ultra-low lag, or the time it takes for a signal to get from point A to B. Finally, enabling a future where remote surgery will be possible. Third, in the future, 5G could support more connected devices than ever before, up to 1 million per square kilometer. And fourth, we'll be able to support mobile connections up to 500 kilometers per hour, or approximately 310 
miles per hour, allowing you to maintain a signal even aboard the high-speed vehicles, whatever on an aerial drone, high-speed commuter train, or a self-driving car. And fifth, 5G Ultra Wideband will provide faster, more responsive service deployment and a new standard for energy efficiency and reliability. And it just gets better. As we mentioned earlier, the power of 5G extends beyond a super fast network. It's the platform for us to build the future we want, the businesses we want, the consumer application we desire, and the society we believe in. And two innovations built on Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband Network are the foundation to make th that happen. First, Mobile Edge Compute, or MEC places unprecedented levels of computing power right at the edge of Horizon's 5G network. Last year, we announced a private MEC solution with Microsoft, and we also deployed public 5G MEC with AWS in 10 locations in the United States, including Boston, San Francisco, Atlanta, Dallas, New York, Washington DC, Miami, Las Vegas, Denver, and Seattle. And we're just getting started. What does this mean? Taking processing out of the expensive hardware, putting it into the cloud exactly where and when it's needed the most. It will give large enterprises the ability to operate in real time. But it will also make small phones and laptops more powerful than ever and give small businesses, startups and consumers access to the same technology that until recently was only available to large companies and major research institutions. That's a major advance for digital inclusivity, which is an incredibly important priority for us at Verizon. And secondly, our 5D network has the ability to create separate slices for a range of services to meet different customer needs. 5D network slicing allows all kinds of different traffic, such as calls to grandma, movie streaming, bank transaction to travel along network paths optimized for that specific use. All on a single physical network. And now let's see how 5G will change your life for the better, how it will inform you, entertain you, and inspire you to engage with your world in ways that previous generation could only imagine. So let's get started. A good place to begin is by looking at something that has provided millions of people with entertainment and connection when they needed it most, and that's sports. During this past year, sports brought people together even when we couldn't all be together at the stadium. Remember when watching a sporting event together on TV meant you had to be in the same room as everybody else? I do. Or if you were lucky enough to be in a venue with a bird's eye view of the field and the Jumbotron. With a 4G technology, you can only watch games the way someone else decided to show them to you. With no ability to customize your viewing experience. Now with the 5G Ultra Wideband, we can transform the ways people watch sports. Whatever they are at a stadium or arena, or in the comfort of their own home, or in their own to go with a mobile device. Thanks to the 5G currencies like high speed, low latency, and the ability to connect huge number of shared locations, this network is a true game changer. Verizon is proud to be a technology partner of some of the world's most innovative sports leagues. These partnerships have given us an extraordinary opportunity to innovate and bring 5G connectivity to sport venues and to create new ways to bring fans closer to the action than they ever thought was possible. The National Football League, NFL, has long been a pioneer in using technology to expand its audience and take the game to new levels. In the 50s, the NFL was quick to see the potential television to create a national mass market for the league and its teams. In the decades since, the NFL has continued to innovate with camera techniques, analytics, and novel forms of fan engagement like gaming and fantasy sports. This track record has made the NFL an ideal teammate for Verizon, 
in developing new ways to bring sports closer to the audience. I'm so glad to introduce the person who is leading that partnership for the NFL, Commissioner Roger Goodell. Hey Hans, great to be with you. Thank you for being here. Commissioner, it's great to see you. I know how excited you are about the possibilities that 5G brings to the NFL sports experience. Tell us a bit about what you see for fans. Hans, we're always exploring ways to enhance the fan experience. Our 100th season in 2019 got everyone thinking what the league might look like over the next 100 years. Certainly, a key part of that is the fan experience. Roger, we are thrilled to collaborate on transforming the experience for fans. We're introducing more immersive ways to watch and engage with the game than ever before, at home or in the stadium. And that's exactly what we're looking for, Hans. And I understand that Raymond James Stadium, the home of Super Bowl 55, just went live with 5G a few weeks ago. You're right. And it's so exciting with the 5G Ultra Wideband. A higher level of connectivity at incredible speeds will support large number of fans streaming their devices at once. And for the NFL teams, 5G Ultra Wideband has the potential to change in-game communication and provide faster transmission of key data and stats. Greater access to one of the greatest games. And that's so important, Hans, especially during this unique time for sports. We were able to play over 100 games in front of over 1 million fans this season. And keeping fans connected to the players, teams, and games that they love was more important than ever. And Verizon is helping make that happen. Indeed, a perfect example is the Verizon 5G Super Stadium experience in the NFL app. It delivers up to seven different live camera angles of action, enhanced augmented reality features, and more. We're making next-generation fan engagement a reality. Thanks so much, Roger, for joining me here today. I'm looking forward to the postseason. Me too. Thanks, Hans. Thank you, Roger. You heard me talk about the power of Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband and how it will transform how we watch and experience sports. Let's see how. To help bring these to life, I'd like to welcome to the stage someone who knows a thing or two about sports. NFL legend Dion Saunders, who is the only athlete to appear in both the Super Bowl and a World Series. He's now the head football coach at Jackson State University. Hey man, Dion, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful, my man. I'm doing good. You're looking great. I don't know. I'm trying to stay in shape, but you're looking good as well. So it's great to have you here. But you know, a lot of change since I played a long time ago. That's right, Dion. The game continues to evolve. For example, with the 5G Super Stadium in the NFL app, fans can engage with the select games with up to seven different camera angles, bringing them closer to the action. And augmented reality lets fans project virtual players with the real-time stats. We're talking immersive, next-generation experience not possible until now. Absolutely. With all of the different camera angles, I felt like I was right back in it, yeah, man. Yeah. And the AR virtual players layered with stats is such a cool way to enhance our viewing experience. These 5G-powered features give viewers the ultimate fan experience at home or on the go. So if you haven't already downloaded the NFL app, I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't know what's going on with you. You need to check it out in time for the Super Bowl. Dion, that's very exciting overview of the new Verizon 5G Super Stadium experience. But as I'm sure you know by now, with the 5G, it just gets better. We're thinking about how we are reimagining sideline innovation. We see a future where 5G will provide real-time analytics and visualization for teams, giving them a whole new ability to learn from the last play and prepare for the next one. Doing this all in real time will only be possible because of 5G. Imagine how Verizon 5G can transform the rest of sports. The possibilities are endless. 5G can change how coaches, athletes, and fans experience the sports they love and become even closer to the game. And that's what they want. Now that's a tremendous opportunity, my man. That's a tremendous opportunity. You are right. Thank you so much for being here and good luck with the season. Thank you, my man. Thank you. 
Together, we're rolling out 5G ultra wideband in 28 NFL stadiums in 2021, with expanded coverage in selected stadiums. As soon, we'll be able to transform 5G-enabled NFL venues into digital arenas that can host mobile game events with real-time, on-site, multiplayer action. While 5G is transforming how we watch sports and interact with fellow fans, that's just a small part of what this technology can help us to achieve as a society. Remember when a school field trip meant getting on the bus? Or when visiting a world-class museum was usually impossible unless you lived in the same community? I do. As this past year has shown, digital connectivity is vital for ed educating students from all backgrounds, at all levels, from primary school all the way through trade school or college. As teachers, parents and students have sought new digital resources to make up for lost classroom time, we are changing the way we look at education. We know it all starts with connectivity. As we begin 2021, we're empowering teachers and students to follow their curiosity wherever a network can take them. But a desire to bring students inside an experience through their laptop or phone needs greater data capacity and low lag times. Not possible with 4G. They can see a museum, but can't experience it. They can watch a lecture, but they can't interact with the material. Doing this and other things requires new technology and new thinking. Through the power of 5G, we can bridge a digital divide for students and learners of all ages, helping everyone experience art and culture in a completely new way. Take the museum experience. With 5G, we can now expand that experience like never before. To see how, let's go to the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. We're using technology to unlock the rich history of artifacts housed across their museums. When you can't get to the exhibit in person, new high-fidelity 3D scans of objects and their stories can come to you. Thanks to AR, made possible by one of the currencies of 5G, extremely high bandwidth, students and educators from across the country can explore objects like the Apollo 11 command module you see here. It's exciting to be able to place this remarkable piece of history in your living room and move around it to see every little detail from the re-entry marks to the seats the crew sat in. With Verizon's commitment to digitize more historical artifacts, the Smithsonian can engage more people in more places, opening up a whole new world for students, artists, teachers and lifelong learners, no matter where you are located. And with this knowledge comes greater understanding of our shared history. To tell us more about how the Smithsonian is making use of this technology, I'm excited to talk to Lonnie Bunch, Secretary of the Smithsonian. Mr. Secretary. Uh, thanks, Hans. It is so great to be here to talk about the Smithsonian's Race, Community, and Our Shared Future initiative, which explores how Americans currently understand experience and confront race, its impact on communities, and how that impact is shaping the nation's future, and how Verizon support will help bring it to life. We're so happy to be part of this initiative because we know that technology, and 5G in particular, can really bring education to life beyond the classroom and help all people explore important subjects like this that will help us reach more inclusive future. Exactly. Technology is a huge enabler of that. And over the next five years, Verizon support will allow us to accelerate the digitization and scanning of our collections and artifacts with the most possible detail. And what's more is how this initiative will be supporting the creation of new digital experiences for the Smithsonian across our museum network, including the use of those 3D objects in ways that bring our shared history to life wherever the viewer is, whether it's students, teachers, parents, whomever has come to learn. Yeah, it's really exciting. We've already been an early user of the Smithsonian's open access platform to bring some 3D artifacts into augmented reality, like the Apollo 11 command module you just saw next to me. That's right. 
And we're actually adding a few never before released 3D artifacts, including some of the amazing objects from two exhibitions at the National Museum of American History. Girlhood, it's complicated, which commemorates women's suffrage and how girls change history across politics, education, work, health, and fashion. And Playball, which shows how Latino communities played, celebrated, and changed the game of baseball. We're so excited for how Verizon's 5G will put exhibits like this into the hands of anyone who wants to learn. An honor to work alongside your curators to make it happen. Thank you so much for being here with us, and we can't wait to see what else we can create together. But that's not all. I'd like to now go 200 miles up the road to New York City, where I'm really excited to announce an incredible immersive art experience that we have been working on with our friends at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. With 5,000 years of art and one and a half million pieces, it's a museum where people from all around the world travel to visit. But this new experience brings the museum to you in a way you've never seen it before. Using our technology and the advancement in the latest mobile devices, we are able to get you closer to the art you love. In fact, we can bring it into your home using augmented reality or AR. This type of AR rendering is at the fingertips of our nation's students in the real time. Something that's just not possible without 5G. In collaboration with the Met, we created four thematic 3D spaces for you to explore on Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband. Each one houses unique gallery displays exclusivity curated by the museum itself. Every 3D rendering is brought to you in the highest fidelity, available and with painstaking detail. But the experience doesn't stop here. We made the objects interactive with fun, educational games that we put your knowledge about the art to the test. If you are quick on your feet, you will be able to take some of the most iconic artwork in the world home on loan in AR. And with the 5G Ultra Wideband, a few of those pieces will come to life in front of your eyes in ways that, that were never possible with 4G. At a time in history, when access to one of the world's greatest arts collection is limited, we're making it available to everyone. We think of it as a masterpiece of digital inclusivity. We're calling this experience the Met Unframed, and it's launching tomorrow, January 12th. I hope you all get a chance to experience it. And it just gets better. At Horizon, we believe that while philanthropy is good, the private sector can play a more strategic role in achieving the 17 UN Sustainable Development Goals by including them in your company's core strategy. As we think about 5D future for all, and the universal need for digital inclusion, we believe it starts with education. To tell you more, here is Rose Kirk, Verizon's Chief Responsibility Officer. Thanks, Hans. At Verizon, we were first to bring 5G to schools through Verizon Innovative Learning, a first-of-its-kind digital inclusion initiative created by Verizon to provide free technology, free connectivity, and technology skills to under-resourced middle schools and high schools across the nation, allowing every single student to thrive. We built 5G-enabled learning laboratories in these schools and provided 5G applications that dimensionalize math, science, and the humanities by using augmented reality and virtual reality, only possible because of 5G. For example, 5G apps are enhancing science lessons by allowing students to jump inside cells or visit the ends of the solar system together with other students. That kind of access radically expands learning opportunities both inside and outside the classroom. We're proud of the fact that we're providing these solutions to under-resourced schools who typically don't have the access to the same technology-enabled education that more affluent schools are using. 
Through Verizon Innovative Learning, we've invested more than a half billion dollars since 2012 to help students with the skills they need to put them on the path to success. And adding 5G to our education program is one more investment we're proud to make. That's why we've made a commitment to equip 100 schools with 5G in the coming years. And more broadly, as part of Citizen Verizon, our responsible business plan to help bridge the digital divide for 10 million youth by 2030, we're building a technology-rich education platform that will be available to students, teachers, and parents around the globe. And in keeping with the theme of today, we're just getting started. I'm so encouraged by the students we've worked with thus far, and even more excited about what a 5G future will mean for them. Thank you, Rose. That's certainly important and inspiring. And like you, I can't wait to see what the students will do with the 5G technology. While 5G is transforming how we learn, that's just the beginning how the public and private sector can work together to use technology as a force for good for all citizens. Do you remember when a connected community meant nothing more than a copper phone wire and a transit system? I do. With a 4G, you can get a traffic map that illustrates traffic, but you can't actually see the traffic. In real time, your car can't anticipate when a light is going to change or notify you when the car 400 yards ahead of you slams into its brakes. But now with the 5G, you have a digital connections that create all kinds of new possibilities. And one day, you will literally be able to see them from the road to thousands of feet into the air. From delivery to transportation, the impact of connected devices is going to be far-reaching. And this will only be possible thanks to 5G. And at Verizon, we want to be the strategic partner to states, cities, and towns across the US and the world. There's a great power in private and public partnership, and we see tremendous opportunities for growth. One great example is in California. The city of San Jose has been an early smart city adopter. It is home to Verizon's 5G mobility and 5G home, as well as the first area where we launched our mobile edge compute. The city is on the cutting edge of what smart city technology can do to reduce greenhouse emissions. In fact, in 2019, Verizon installed TDS, or Traffic Data Services, that assist in the optimization traffic patterns and reducing computing time. Implementing Creative Traffic Solution was a big reason why the International Data Corporation named San Jose as a Smart City of the Year winner. San Jose is on the cutting edge and what Smart City Solution on Verizon 5G can do to help lower our collective carbon footprint. We're outfitting cities like San Jose with 5G technology and customized solution. And we're not waiting for the future to be better. We're doing our part by setting a goal for Verizon to become carbon neutral by 2035. And again, it just gets better. One of the other ways we're building solutions to the challenge of tomorrow is by leveraging 5G and mobile edge compute with use cases across many sectors. Today, we are fortunate to hear from a few of the people who are at the center of building these next generation technologies and smart cities, all powered by the new innovation made possible by 5G. Let's take a look. 5G is going to change the way we all interact with each other. My name is Sanyugita Shamsundar, and I'm the Vice President of Technology and Product Development at Verizon. My team essentially works with the innovators inside and outside the company to create technology-based solutions and products for our consumer as well as enterprise customers, taking advantage of all the capabilities that 5G brings. The large bandwidth, 
the lower latency capabilities that incorporate the new 5G architecture, like the mobile edge compute, to build applications and services that impact the entire population. We are working with many different robotics companies. My name is Jiren Parikh. I'm the president and CEO of Ghost Robotics. We believe we have an incredible purpose here at Ghost. We build robots to keep humans out of harm's way. Think about a firefighter, a burning building, robot goes in, can sense the fire, the gases. That's pretty amazing. Verizon's 5G network is really critical to the capability of our robot as we move forward. As these sensors are capturing more and more data and processing is taking place in the cloud, we have to have a very high bandwidth network that can transmit enormous amounts of information that are being captured by these sensors. And a fast, efficient, secure network is absolutely critical to the operation of these mobile devices. Smart cities of tomorrow are definitely taking shape today and connectivity is important when we talk about drones. I'm Mariah Scott, president of Skyward. I love technology and I love aviation, and drones sit at the intersection of those two areas. Skyward invested in creating an aviation development center. You can think of it as an outdoor testing facility for next generational capabilities. 5G ultra wideband will allow us to manage drones safely and securely and to integrate them into our communities. That technology is like what broadband was for the internet. I'll be able to coordinate fleets of drones remotely to do deliveries, to deliver packages. 5G makes that possible because of the ultra low latency, the massive capacity and bandwidth, the security and reliability. Those are all critical components to achieving that future vision and doing it in a safe and reliable way. 5G has really changed the picture from us from going through these small first person view screens to now we can do virtual reality in 4K in both eyes, allowing you to see in stereo. It's really a game changer. It makes you feel like you're on the aircraft, but from the ground. It really is incredible technology. Over the last year, Skyward has been working on proving out the delivery use case for drones. We've been working closely with UPS and their drone delivery program to actually test out and demonstrate connected flights for drone delivery. UPS is working with a variety of partners who are coming together to create this ecosystem of smart cities. The firm is basically an area in Louisville where we can test a lot of these drones. 5G is the glue that puts it all together. That is what enables us to control and communicate with these drones that are flying around. Today, you may be ordering a prescription on a mail order pharmacy, which may take three to four days. Tomorrow, you would order it, and within 30 minutes, it's at your front door. That is the future of delivery we are talking about. The Advanced Technology Group here at UPS is laying together those layers, autonomous vehicles, robots, drones, when we put these building blocks together, held together by the glue of Verizon's 5G, it is going to change the world. Verizon's 5G technology allows businesses to be able to rapidly transform. 5G is going to make a great impact, and we at Verizon believe that it will touch everything. Verizon's Skyward team has been taking connectivity to the sky and testing the network for drones over the past year. This is to support not only connected cameras and sensors, but also for applications that will transform our daily lives, like package delivery, an initiative that UPS has been working on for a few years now. But now with 5G, you have a digital connection that can create all kinds of new possibilities. And again, it just gets better. Here to tell us more is UPS CEO, Carol Tomei, who has an announcement to share. Carol. That's right, Hans. At UPS, we created UPS Flight Forward, our drone delivery company, certified by the FAA in 2019. Since then, we've operated more than 3,800 successful drone delivery flights. But what's more important is how we're leveraging the technology and we continue to test new concepts that will make this technology more accessible and effective for specialized deliveries. Today, our drone operations help the healthcare industry reduce time and transit for things like lab specimens, cancer transfusion kits, and life-saving medications, just to name a few. Skyward and UPS have been working together, testing drones, 
And now we're committed to exploring new opportunities. The global pandemic has driven us to accelerate the development of new and creative solutions to ensure our customers get what they need, when and where they need it. Autonomous mobility, supported by advanced technologies like 5G and drones, will be more critical in the future, and we will continue to rely on partners like Verizon and Skyward to enable them. As we develop our UPS Flight Forward business, we will need the capabilities to manage and support multiple drones flying simultaneously, dispatched from a centralized location, operating in a secure and safe environment. To do this at scale, alongside Verizon and Skyward, we will need the power of 5G. For example, we are working with Verizon on using drones for delivery of retail products at the villages in Florida. Drone delivery has the potential to be more on demand and more sustainable communities. Managing these aerial delivery vehicles over the 5G network will allow us to lift up from congested streets. This partnership will also demonstrate the potential for 5G ultra wideband and Skyward to support nationwide drone delivery network. It's an exciting time. Blue skies are ahead, Hans and building more sustainable and connected communities. Thank you, Carol. We have spoken a lot tonight about the power of 5G as a platform. Its ability to connect people to their passion, to bridge the digital divide, and to fundamentally alter the way our businesses and communities function. As we close today, I want to turn our focus to the music experience. Music has the power to bridge distances and to heal. Remember when you needed to be a VIP to see a great act up close with nothing in your way? I do. Over the past year, music has brought moments of comfort to the millions of people struggling with the loss of loved ones or the effects of the economical downturn. Last spring, as the COVID-19 was first spreading across the United States, we launched Pay It Forward Live, a weekly streaming concert to benefit small businesses threatened by the pandemic. As a result, 80 million people participated to support small businesses. We featured such top artists as Alicia Keys, Usher, Billie Eilish, Dave Matthews, Chance the Rapper, Luke Bryan, and Chanel Monet. We were able to bring them into your homes from their home. It was special, but it wasn't as good as a real music experience you get from an artist up on the stage. At some point in the not so distant future, we will be able to return to music venues and to experience live music shows again. Now, thanks to 5G Ultra Wideband, that experience is available to everyone and to help to explain more, I want to welcome to the stage four-time Grammy-nominated artist, the Black Pumas. Welcome, Eric and Adrian. How's it going, Hans? Hey, guys. Nice to see you. You as well. I know in November, we worked with you and our good friends at Snap to bring to life a unique performance of your hit song, Color. By combining Snap's advanced AR capabilities with Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband to enable a longer and higher fidelity AR experience. Do you want to talk a little bit about what that was like for you guys? Yeah, absolutely, Hans. I mean, for us, this collaboration was really about creating a more intimate experience with the fans. We wanted to give them a special way to experience the music, and we knew that this collaboration between Verizon 5G and Snapchat's AR would be just the right way to bring it to life. Absolutely. And we are so glad you were able to make this happen using the motion capture tech from Verizon's media's Riot Studio, the first and only 5G production studio in the country. Yeah, working with the Riot and Snap teams was incredible. Creating a digital twin of myself to put into a full-length AR music video was awesome. I'd never experienced anything like motion capture before, so it was so clear how 5G was instrumental in creating this next level AR lens. Cool, right. Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband was the key to creating such a powerful 
long form AR experience because of the amount of data involved. The typical Snapchat AR lens is four megabyte or so, while the 5G ultra wideband landmark lens was able to handle 50 megabyte of data without degrading the end user experience. This is nearly 10 times the data load. 4G just can't handle this kind of capacity. It's simply not possible. It's so impressive. When we're up and running post-COVID, this technology is gonna help creators explore more ways to engage with fans in this new virtual arena, also giving fans more access to unique experiences, just like ours. Yes, we want to make sure everyone has access to this type of immersive, game-changing content in the future. But that's not all we're doing. Verizon has partnered with global industry leader Live Nation to transform an iconic music venue, the Wilton in Los Angeles, into the first 5G ultra wideband enabled music club. Outfitted with a live multicam experience and a 360 degree portal experience and a crowd management solution to help shows go off without a hitch. You guys got to be the first to experience what that was like, right? Yeah, and it was amazing. It was such an incredible experience. Having the multiple camera angles during the show makes the concert experience all the more immersive. With its capacity and speed, 5G Ultra Wideband will let you see the show from multiple camera angles so fans can focus on their favorite band members. Yeah, for sure. I mean, everywhere we look, we were looking into the camera and connecting with the audience. Kind of makes being a performer all the more real. It's the next best thing nowadays to joining us on stage. Eric, Adrian, it was so good to have you here. And I can't wait to create more incredible music experience together. But don't go too far. We're going to come back to you soon. Thanks, Hans. Thanks, Thanks guys. Hans. This partnership with Live Nation will give our customers a whole new way of experiencing music and watching performances, both live and on screen. But as you know, by now, it just gets better. Verizon 5G won't simply help fans watch great shows on screen. We're also deploying 15 iconic live nation venues, including Fillmore in Miami, the Masonic Theater in San Francisco, and Irving Plaza in New York. As live music comes back, we will be ready to help it make it better than ever. As we've seen, 5G opens up all kinds of new possibilities. But in the end, this network is all about something timeless. The human need to connect, to reach out, to share our stories, and to hear the stories of others. That has been especially important since the beginning of the pandemic, when so many have lost so much. 5G is an incredible technology. What I've just shared with you barely scratches the surface of what we're doing today and all it can do in the future. But the legacy of 5G depends 100% on the people who use it. My own hope and my own aspiration is more than often we will use it for good, for learning, for sharing, for growing, for preserving and protecting, for community building and finding ways to reap the greatest outcomes for everyone in our society and for connecting. In the end, it's up to you. Let us learn from the past year and let us celebrate a better one to come.